Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we will see how to deploy Django website in Azure Cloud. So Azure Cloud is very renowned and uh, it's owned by Microsoft. Similar cloud hosting providers are there like uh, AWS and uh, GCP. But this video will focus on uh, Azure Cloud. One thing you should uh, note that uh, this is not a Django web development tutorial. So I already have the Django application with me. It's a very basic application that is uh, uploaded to my GitHub link. I will put this link in the description. So if you want, then you can uh, this link as well to try out uh, in Azure Cloud. Now, second thing is that I have already tested this uh, application in my local desktop. So I have all the requirement already in place which is needed it to be deployed on the Azure. So one thing is that you will have to make sure that you have a requirement.txt. So this is basically holds all the libraries that is needed for your uh, website along with the version. So here only Django is mentioned and the version is 3.1.1. So if your website needs more libraries to function, then definitely you will have to add them. And uh, one more, requirement that I remember is that you'll have to modify one settings in settings.py so basically here if we'll go a little bit down then uh, allowed host you'll have to put it star or you'll have to put the IP address of the Azure and that IP address will be there once you deployed it that's the thing but i strongly recommend to test your application in your local desktop before deploying it to azure so let's start the tutorial first of all you'll have to go to portal.azure.com if you're logging to portal.azure.com for the first time then you will have to register it registration is pretty much uh, simple you will all have to provide your details and you also have to provide a credit card or debit card information so that uh, debit card or the credit card will be used for billing purpose. Now, once you complete all the process and came to this uh, dashboard, then first thing well, what you will have to do is that uh, click on create a resource. Now you will have to search for an option called web app and under web app, you will have to click on create. Here, the first option you will be asked to provide a subscription so I have only one subscription so I will just select that and uh, you'll have to select a resource group so I do not have any that's why I will click on create new and I will give a resource group name so I will select demo Django and then click on OK so this will basically create a resource group now in uh, name field you will have to give a name of your uh, Azure app and uh, let me just give the same thing that I provided in the resource group that is demo Django and uh, then click on code and, and then runtime stack it will be Python so just go a little bit down and you will be able to find a section called Python and under that various uh, version so let me select the latest version that is uh, 3.9 and then operating system I will keep it as uh, Linux and uh, then we'll have to select the region central US is by default selected but uh, there are a lot of options available here so basically if you want to give a location close to your uh, business then definitely you can select it but uh, in this case I'm just keeping it as a central US and then Linux plan you'll have to select so this is basically the service plan or the app service plan so by default it has created me one so I will keep it as it is now SKU and size so basically this will decide how many memory will be allocated to your uh, website now you can also do a change size so which is I'm going to do because it's a premium plan that is already selected and as it is a demo purpose, then I will select uh, the plan which is for less demanding workload. So dev slash test, I will click on that. And then I have two plans it is showing. So I will just select on the very basic FY plan, which will give me one GB of uh, memory. And I will just uh, click on. So next is uh, 
zone redundancy so it is by default disabled maybe because of my support plan i have with azure now let me just uh, click on next deployment and here the continuous deployment is disabled that's okay next monitoring whether you want to enable monitoring or not so as this is the demo purpose then this i'm not going deep into that but if you're a beginner and if you just want to host your website on the azure then this process also not required now click on next and uh, here if you want you can provide a tags so i will keep it as uh, blank and next review plus create and uh, basically what it does is that it will do a validation and the validation will include whether all the details that you have provided here are fine or not if anything is wrong then definitely you will see a option called uh, validation field now everything is fine so i will just click on uh, create and uh, it will start deployment so at the top this uh, bell button you can see so whatever is happening in the background it will show here so now it is uh, submitting deployment so it takes around one or two minutes basically to create this uh, app service plan let me just pause this video a bit and come back once this deployment is uh, completed the deployment is complete it took around uh, two minutes to complete now we'll have to click on go to resource now we'll have to go to deployment center and from this deployment center only we will push our code to azure now here we will be able to find an option called source now from where you want to put uh, push your uh, code so i have github now if you have any other uh, repository then definitely you can select but in my case i will select github and uh, and now it is asking me few more details now one thing is one thing you should note here is that if you are using github for the first time with azure then you will find the option called authorize so just click on that authorize and uh, then a new pop-up window will open and there you will have to click authorize and then azure cloud will be able to communicate with your github account to pull all the repositories that you have so i have already done that that's why it's not showing here but in your case you will have to do that now under github section i can see organization so select uh, the organization so this information will be pre-populated whatever is mentioned in uh, your github it will be visible here so organization let me select that and under that organization now i'll have to select repository so i will select demo django repository so this is the repository name under which uh, i have all my django files and then we'll have to select a branch so i will select the master branch now add a workflow we'll keep it at the same add a workflow and uh, then I can do a preview file or I can select the save option here so the deployment is started once again all the things that is happening in the background you will be able to see in this bell icon just uh, click on it and if you will be able to see all the uh, process that is happening now after you save this you will be able to find a option called browse just click on it so basically now what is happening is that uh, Django is basically pulling all the files in uh, from the github and it is uh, deploying all the resources that is needed to run your website so you'll have to wait for five minutes at least so let me just pause this video again and uh, i will come back when my website is completely visible here so welcome back it took around three minutes approximately but uh, our django web app application is uh, ready and uh, nothing much is going here it's very basic uh, application so home page of django app is uh, visible here now if you have a custom domain name then definitely you can go to custom domain name sections and here you will be able to find a ip address 
and this IP address you can use to create a, a record from domain name provider. For example, if you have a domain in uh, GoDaddy or Namecheap, then definitely you will go there. You will have to create a, a record which will point to this IP address. And uh, after that, you will be able to see your uh, domain name here instead of this demo django.azurewebsites.net. That's all for this video. I hope you have gained the knowledge on how to deploy Django applications on Azure. If you have any questions, you can put your doubt in the comment section. I will try to sort it out. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload new videos, you will get notification immediately.